Hey guys, this is David Arroyo and today I will be talking about Astropath 2.0 release. Uh, it was just released a couple hours ago and I had some uh, go with it. Um, as you can see, I am sketching in a Sketchbook, uh, the desktop version of Sketchbook, and I'm using Astropath to make it work. Uh, and uh, I can tell you it worked really, really well. Um, update 2.0 is actually really good and it's free for all uh, those that already have Astropad so that's a very nice um, gesture of the uh, makers of Astropad so I do thank them very much that's very cool um, especially because the update is really just worth it. Um, it it has a lot of very fun features so first of all the very first thing I noticed was speed right so if if you liked the way Astropath felt originally, you're really gonna love the way it feels now because to me it was literally like just drawing in the app itself. You know, like it was like drawing in Sketchbook, the desktop version of Sketchbook, straight on my iPad. I literally I felt no difference. There was no lag. There was no nothing. Yeah, and you'll see me here like play around a little bit with the undos and the and the redos and stuff like that um, because I couldn't get something to work or something. Maybe because it wasn't linked to the right uh, command or something. I, I'd have to check that out. But either way, it worked. Uh, it worked just fine. Uh, also, here the pinching and stuff in uh, Sketchbook. Uh, it works really fine and actually the reason why I decided to draw this in sketchbook because um, with Photoshop, it, you know, Astropad has always been phenomenal uh, But with sketchbook in the original version at least for me maybe for other people got it to work really well But for me, it wasn't like um, As simple as just you know plug and play and there you go. It, it works straight away I had a feeling like I had to modify a couple things and um, I'm not sure if the uh, you know zooming in and zooming out with the fingers uh, worked back then. I I don't I don't recall uh, that it did, but now it does. Now it really felt like just being in the in the software uh, of Sketchbook itself. So that felt great. That really felt great because Sketchbook is such a good uh, drawing application, and you know in, in in some cases, a lot of illustrators. Uh, you know, they use it over over Photoshop because this, you know, this this piece of software is literally made just for drawing. Uh, whereas Photoshop, you know, there's a, a lot of photo editing and all that stuff, so it has different functionalities. Um, but that's the great thing. See, for example, this ruler uh, thing. Well, you know, that one is only available in the desktop version. You have a ruler in the tablet one. But thanks to Astropad, I can use the more sophisticated ruler uh, from the desktop version. And um, it really, like I said, it felt really, really great. Um, so speed was one thing. Pressure sensitivity, phenomenal. Bef you know, in the past, I didn't have that pressure sensitivity down as well in Sketchbook. This time, it felt just right. It felt perfect. Um, I already had it with Photoshop in the original version of Astropad, but now in uh, Sketchbook uh, as well, and I'm very happy about that. Um, another thing, yeah, here, as you can see, this is another very cool feature from Sketchbook, uh, the desktop version, and thanks to Astropad, you can bring it to your tablet. So another reason for you guys out there to just give it a go, give it a try. Uh, Astropad is really cool in that sense. So update 2.0, definitely, definitely worth it. If you were uh, hesitant about getting Astropad in the past, dude, get it now. It's really good. And for those that already had it, free update. It is awesome. All right. Take care, guys.